Good day, folks. As you guys can see, this is the question of the week, number 61, actually leaving off from question of the week 61. Um, it's been a while since I've made uh, these uh, question of the weeks, but um, I'm going to do something a little different here. Um, rather than wait after I pose the question, I'm going to do the um, reading. I want to read the question and answer the question at the same time. So um, I'm going to read this and then I'm going to give my answers. So, um, yeah, let's get right to it. So uh, this I read before, but I'm going to read again and um, answer them here. So this question is posed by our friend Taylor, Taylor Byard. Um, Hello, Moses. I just want to compliment you on your language skills. I'm blown away. I look up to you for being able to take on a difficult thing, such as learning not, not one, but many languages at one time. Right now, I'm a bit overwhelmed because I don't know where to start with my language learning. I currently have the living language course for Brazilian Portuguese. I really love it, but I'm having a little trouble staying on track. I'm currently a senior in high school, and I will start college in the fall of 2014. In college, I'm seeking to be an elementary education major with a minor in linguistics. I want to teach abroad in another country, which is why I have grown a passion to learn new languages. Would it be a bad idea to learn Brazilian Portuguese and Japanese at the same time? And also, at the moment, could you tell me the best free resources to use for these two languages? Of course, I will use your videos as resources. Uh, thank you for your time and keep being amazing. All right, and then he has uh, some random questions here. What's your favorite? Oh, sorry. What's your first language? How many hours do you practice a day? And what is your favorite language? So here are my answers. All right. So here are my answers. First answer or first question he posed was, would it be a bad idea to learn uh, Portuguese and Japanese at the same time? Um, I don't think it will be a bad idea. Uh, first of all, there are two different languages. Um, they're different, so it will be uh, very it will be very difficult to mix things up. If you were to learn uh, Portuguese and Spanish at the same time, then you will run into some problems because they're they're very similar, and it will be a very difficult task. And I'm talking from experience, so um, I don't think it will be a bad idea, uh, provided that you you know you have the time if you can fit them fit both of those languages into your schedule. Um, if you're a student taking all these classes or you're working full time, it could be quite difficult to learn uh, two languages at one time. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's impossible, but it will be a difficult task. And you have to really have an efficient approach and have a solid schedule uh, for doing that. So as long as you have a solid schedule um, and an efficient approach uh, for learning languages, then I believe that you can get great progress in a short period of time. I'm not saying it's, it's going to take time, but you you will see you can see um, results uh, quickly. Um, but again, you have to have that efficient approach, um, and just make sure you're um, you're consistent with it, and you're doing it almost every day. So um, definitely, you can do it. It just all depends on your circumstances. Now free resources um i know that i know for japanese um i know quite 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 a few uh free resources that you can use online um i will provide those in the description for you um but for portuguese um i don't know that many resources for that like um free resources as i do for japanese but given that it's a very popular language very common language I'm sure you'll be able to find something. I have, I believe I have um, quite a few followers who are doing Portuguese as well, Brazilian Portuguese. I think that's the one that you wanted to learn. Um, they will be able to help you out if they have, um, you know, if, if they're learning language, if they know of any um, resources. So if you guys know of any resources for Brazilian Portuguese, uh, feel free to post them information uh, in the comment section. And I'll put it in the description for uh, our friend Taylor here. Um, 
that's that. Um, what else did you ask me? Um, oh, your random questions. The first question was, what was my first language? Uh, well, obviously, my first language, my mother language, is English. Uh, my first foreign language um, was Chinese. I started learning Chinese when I was 18, and I studied it formally for two years. Now, when I say formally, I don't mean like in school. I mean like books. Whenever you're studying something through books, um, that's considered to be formal. And that's that's what I did for Chinese. I learned uh, Chinese for two years formally. And then after that, I just you know, just built up. I mean, I was doing this at the same time, but I built up my experience um, by just interacting with the native speakers. I was doing that from day one, but after after like going through the books, I did it. I did it even more. Uh, that was my main focus, just interacting with the people. Um, so Chinese was my first language, and I did that for two years. Um, but I have a total of Obviously, you know, if I start 18, I think about this 10 plus years of experience with the language. So that's that. Um, your second question was, how much time do I practice a day? Um, right now, um, uh, it's kind of difficult. Like, um, I'm going to use my most active language, by the way, which is Somali. Um, it's not like, um, okay, first of all, for Somali, when I first started learning Somali, I used FLR Somali. Um, if you don't know what FLR is, that's the foreign language road running technique. That's my technique. Um, I have a course for it, and I use that to um, start learning the language. And when I started using that, I had met with a native speaker for like three months. Um, actually, I met with him for like four months, but the course, um, level one, it it, it, the duration time is like two to three months, two and a half to three months. I would I'll, I'll like to say three months. So I thought that that was a crucial time. So um, I had to meet with the native speaker almost every day, if not every day for at least four hours a week to practice. Um, so I did that for three months and um, I practiced. We practiced pronunciation, making sentences, you know, all of that good stuff. <clears throat> so, um, so to answer your question, that was like, what, um, four or five hours a week of practice with the native speaker. That was with the native speaker. Now, in my own time, I would do things such as listening to the audio, um, and that, that varies. Like, when I listen to audio, I don't really keep track of the time. I go by the number of plays, and when I listen to audio... Uh, for so for so many times, I get I build up to at least a thousand plays. I've made videos um, on this before, but I don't keep track uh, of the when I listen to the audio. But in terms of practice, like actively practicing with native speakers during that time, I was doing four or five hours a week with the native. Um, also, I guess I almost forgot when I go out and level up. You can count that as well. When I go talk with uh, the native speakers of Somali, that can vary in time. Sometimes I could talk with them for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It all depends where I am. It depends depends on the place. But um, now um, I'm doing level two Somali, and I'm in this stage of doing grammar work and just reading. That's all I'm really doing. That's all I've been doing for the past month or so. Um, or the past, what is it, three, four, five, six, yeah, because I've been studying Somali for seven months. So four, four, five, six, seven, yeah, I think for the past two, two and a half months or so, I've been doing, I've, been, I've just been doing grammar work. That's really all I've been doing lately. So during the week, I don't get to really practice as much as I used to because, like I said, um, I stopped meeting with the native speaker after level one. Um you know, and just continue on my own. But I still do practice with native speakers, like when I go out and level up. Um, oh, <clears throat> I almost forgot. Every week, at least once, I go out to get some Somali food. There's a lot of Somali restaurants in my area. So I go out there and I just go get food. And then while I'm waiting on my food, I just practice Somali with them. So you can count that. And I'm doing that for at least, I don't think it's no longer than 20 minutes between 20 and 30 minutes I do that and then I come back home so I do that like once a week and then excuse me then I go out and level up 
over the weekend and again as I mentioned before that's like a good 20 30 minutes with the native speaker it depends on how many Somali places I go to or how many Somali people I run into so um, on an average I would say that for this current this current schedule I get at least um, I don't know in a week I would say like active practice with Somali like interaction I would say couple hours maybe a couple hours a week but my study time is longer than that my input time is way longer than that because I study Somali every day I get at least three hours or somewhere around there of um, you know like reading and you know grammar work and all that stuff so that's that for Somali language um, then you asked me what was my favorite language or oh, what is my favorite language uh, my favorite language is Cantonese I've said this before um, I, I just really like the language. I like the cadence of the language. Um, I like all languages, obviously. I really do. But um, I think everyone has a particular language that they 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 cater to. Like they they um, they enjoy learning the most, or they just they just really have something. It's just really a language that they really 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 enjoy. They really like overall. Um, we all like we like I said we like all languages but there's this there's always a particular language that you like the most and for me that will be Cantonese um, I like Asian languages Asian languages are my my favorite languages in general but like Cantonese is the one that I really really like so yeah there you have it so those are the questions um, that is it so if you guys have any um, I have a lot of I've gotten a lot of questions or this actually this this question of week 61 this is what back in December so yeah it's been a while so I have to catch up on some other questions that I have that I have to uh, answer but from here on out when I make these particular videos I'm gonna do question slash answer of the week number 62 or something like that so this one will be um, I would just say this one is 61 and then the next one 62 question question slash answer uh, question the weeks uh, 62 something like that so that is it um, if you guys have any questions feel free to leave on Facebook uh, you can inbox now the inbox is weird like they, they changed the layout of the YouTube and I find I find it difficult to go uh, find my inbox like it's really difficult I don't even know where the inbox is it's, it's really strange I had to go to someone else's page and go and you know act like I'm going to send them a message in order to go to my inbox I, I really don't know where that inbox is I have to look search for it they, they keep changing the layout of YouTube so it's very difficult so people who are sending me friend requests um, I totally forgot about them because I don't know where to find that inbox where I can accept them so um, you guys can send me messages through um, you know it could be in the video you can send in the video or Facebook those are probably the best places to send me messages because like I said the inbox um, is I, I've had a difficult time to find where that where that thing is so but anyway that is it for this video um, thanks for viewing and um, yeah let me know if you guys have any questions otherwise have a great one